Chanel thinks you are stupid. Stupid as a piece of bread. There's no other explanation and I do have evidence. Hi and very welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. I don't want to be such a negative person but this is going to be a rant. I know I'm already somewhat late to that conversation but I have to share it anyways. It just took me a little while to collect all these little pieces of evidence for my thesis. And this rent is not even connected to the latest Chanel price increases, which are their topic on their own. If Chanel doesn't take us serious, so can I. I am against counterfeits, but quite recently I found this cute little DIY self-knitted sweater shirt on the flea market for only 6 euro and I just <laughs> had to have it for this video. So the topic we are going to talk about is the Chanel advent calendar. If you do love the Chanel advent calendar and you can't take it, you should skip right now because I have nothing good to say. But if you want to go for the least financially mindful advent calendar that is out there, you should go for the Chanel one for a whopping $825. And it's not that I'm generally mad for super expensive advent calendars. It's just with a price tag like that, there should be at least some pieces with value inside. I'm not kidding you when I tell you this, when I found out about the Chanel advent calendar and what's inside, it was a Sunday and I wanted to go to bed early and I just couldn't fall asleep because I've been so mad. <laughs> Seriously. Does Chanel think the customers are stupid? I think so. Seriously, I do. The calendar was marketed as oh so special, it's the first advent calendar Chanel ever is releasing. And it's in honor of the 100th birthday of the iconic Chanel number no. 5 perfume. So limited. So far, so fine for a whopping $825. I've heard and read a few times that it's not so much about what's inside of the calendar and that it's not like with other advent calendars meant to be a good deal to get a bunch of products for a little less than they would cost retail and that it would not be a gift or a value set. Okay, okay, that it would be more of a collector's piece for the true Chanel lovers. And this calendar sold out super quickly. So maybe Chanel isn't wrong when assuming their customers are, let's say, special? I mean, <coughs> excuse me. This calendar is supposed to be for the true Chanel lovers and the collectors and they stuff it to the rim with cheap worthless freebies. Production costs a few cents. You don't believe me? We will take a closer look and I will show you my evidence in a few moments. There are maybe five actual products inside of the calendar. Five? Oh, <laughs> Chanel number five. Oh, it's so thought through. Not. We will calculate through the pieces that actually do have a value and a price tag so we know the total worth of the calendar. And I will show you all my evidence that what is inside of this calendar is not special. I know luxury pieces are not always justifiable over the quality and the materials. And oftentimes it's really just the brand name and the marketing around it, what you pay the price for. And we as luxury lovers, we know that and we are still fine with it for the most. And for sure, I myself have already spent a lot of money on designer items that are not actually worth the price point, just for the illusion of luxury. But this calendar is so absurdly ridiculous and I will show you why. I searched for some of the freebies I got over time. I'm neither a loyal Chanel customer nor do I buy a lot of designer makeup or perfume. Yet still I could easily fill some of these boxes of an advent calendar with comparable freebies. It's not all Chanel because as I told you I don't shop Chanel that often but some is and it's more about the concept. You will see. I heard people say the packaging itself would be worth it for a collector. Yet still I heard others say it would just be thick cardboard. And I personally think a huge white cardboard perfume bottle looks rather tacky than luxurious. 
but maybe that's just me and maybe that's just because I'm already so pissed off from that calendar. So the packaging not worth $825 to me, maybe $50 if I'm being really generous because even your Chanel bag comes with a free box. The calendar doesn't start with box number one, it starts with box number five because <laughs> Chanel number five, it's so thought through, not. We start out with 1.5 milliliter Eau de Parfum Chanel number five sample. You can get these for free. I got this free. It's the same amount of perfume. I know the one in the calendar looks prettier because it comes in a miniature bottle. I only have this one, but you can get the pretty ones for free as well. So worth zero. The next box is a little Christmas ornament. And I heard everybody who unboxed it say it's quite small and flimsy. And I for sure can see a piece like this come as a freebie. I don't have one, but value zero. The third product is a full size one, the iconic Chanel hand cream. You want it? Just buy it for $50. It's not special. The next product is some kind of satin pouch, which looks like the pouches you get for free when you buy sex toys. Oh, excuse me, but make it Chanel. Worth zero. Number nine are keyboard stickers. They are fun, but I've seen them before and guess what? For free. Number 10, the snow globe might be the best piece in the calendar because I actually could see some collectors really enjoying it. But putting this cheap cord onto it, making it a cheap little Christmas ornament, not worth it. And to be honest, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I have not seen quite similar ones in the years before as VIP gifts. Number 11 is a mini rouge velvet lipstick. The lipstick is nice, at least nicer than some of the other stuff in the calendar, but it's not even a full size. For $825 they have not been able to put two full size lipsticks inside of that calendar. They retail for around $40 full size. Number 12 is a ceramic. You can spray these and they keep the scent. And I do own one that I exactly got for free. And you have no idea how mad I am at myself that I couldn't find mine to show it to you and hold it up in this little video. Cause this is the one and only moment in life where owning this ceramic actually makes sense. And it would have a purpose. And I just don't know where I put mine. But as I said, I got mine for free. So worth zero. Box number 13, a special one is the first of many boxes that contains stickers. I don't own any Chanel stickers, but I have these from Dolce & Gabbana. And it's a very common thing to get these stickers for free. Oftentimes they are just laying around at a perfumery. You do not even have to buy anything. They are just free promotion for a new perfume release. Worth zero. Number 14. Great, a nail polish, as if I couldn't buy one on my own, for $28 in the color I actually do like the most. Oh, wait a second, $825? I could buy myself 29 and a half Chanel nail polishes in full size. This looked more impressive in my head. I'm not even able to grab all the Chanel nail polishes I do own to show them to you in a proper way, but just imagine this as a great effect. Number 15, a magnet freebie. Box number 16 is a miniature again. It applies the same as for box number one. <coughs> Excuse me, box number five. Next up, we have an ugly bracelet. And I'm not even sure if I want to call it that way. It's a ceramic plate on a cheap string that looks like a DIY project where someone tried to create a piece of Chanel jewelry from packaging decor. And they did not even paint both sides of the ceramic black. That's too much to ask for from Chanel. But guess what? I already got nicer freebie bracelets like this one from Kenzo. Number 18, stickers, freebie! Number 19 is a keychain. If it was well made, I could see how someone could like it. But to me, it doesn't look well made. You know what it looks like to me? Exactly like a freebie that was produced to promote a perfume. Like, oh, what's that? 
a Dolce & Gabbana one that I got for free. To be honest, I even think this one looks more sturdy and better quality to me since it is metal. And the Chanel one just looks flimsy, but hey. Number 20 is a full-size lipstick. Same game like the nail polish. Maybe just buy the lipstick in the color you like. The one in the calendar is a special holiday packaging, but that doesn't prevent it from expiring. So it's just a lipstick, not an actual collector's item. Number 21 is a mirror that I have to admit looks kind of cute, like a perfume bottle. But guess what? Mirrors are very common freebie beauty gifts that do come with designer cosmetics. May I introduce you to this pink Dior one that looks way higher quality than that flat Chanel thing. This one nearly seems like an actual SLG. And guess what? I got it for free. So Chanel, is it really too much to ask for to produce a mirror that at least looks like it's worth something? Talking about worth something, box 22 isn't. It's stickers again. Box 23, the keyring. This might be the first box that I have nothing to complain about. This might look like a cute little key charm or bag charm. I would have to see it in person if it's flimsy and light and looks cheap. But from the first impression, it really looks okay for me. And if the calendar would contain more pieces like this, I think the price tag would be much more okay and I think more people would be happier with the calendar. Yet still, as I already showed you, there are free bag charms out there. Number 24, the booklet. I heard many voices that were very dissatisfied with the flipbook booklet. I'm not crazy about it, but I think there are way worse, cheaper looking things in that calendar. I wouldn't need that booklet and even a pair of Chanel sunglasses comes with a booklet. So putting a stack of paper into these advent calendars for sure saved some production costs for Chanel. As if all of the rest would not have already been only worth a few cents. Box 25, great! A full-size perfume, yet still the smallest size available. It retails for around $150, if I looked it up right. So that's the most valuable piece in the calendar. And you get it on Christmas. Congratulations! It cannot make up for all the freebies that have already been in this calendar and are yet to come. 26, a bookmark. Bookmarks are a freebie thing. And this one does not even look like Chanel. It's a five, Coco Chanel's lucky number. But a five is not exclusive to Chanel. If I would stumble across that piece at the flea market, most probably I would not even take a closer look because I wouldn't even realize and recognize it's Chanel. Box 27 is a soap. The soap is not full size and not sold in that way, yet still I think it's a good chunk of soap. And I would say it's comparable with the $26 Chanel soap that is sold. 28 stickers, zero value. 29, it's a pin. And there are people out there collecting pins, so there might be some collector's value to it. Guess what? I have a free one. And que surprise! It's a perfume bottle as well. Number 30 is a sample of body cream. A sample. Here's a tip. Go to your Chanel counter and ask if you could try it. You will get it for free. And if they don't have it when you try the first time or they just don't want to give it to you, just ask again the next time you're around and one day you will succeed for free or get something comparable. Box 31. To finish this worst advent calendar I've ever seen, you get another DIY look bracelet with a five that does not even look exclusively Chanel. And I have another freebie bracelet to show you that is full metal and came for free with the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. It's been used quite a lot, but it still looks much higher quality than this flimsy Chanel bracelet. I'm speechless and in disbelief. The total value, if you add up the pieces that do come with a price tag, would be around $300. There were 20 freebies in this calendar. 20! Five actual products and two in-betweens that could be considered collectibles, like the snow globe or one of the key charms. 
The calendar has 27 boxes and costs $825. That makes $30.55 for each box. There were three products inside that were worth more than the $30. And even the other full-size products inside of that calendar do cost less. You could make your own Chanel Beauty Advent Calendar for less. For example, full width, full-size nail polishes. There was nothing to compare it with in this calendar, but I wanted to show it to you anyways. Because this is another one of my Chanel freebies. It's a little pendant that came free and I think it looks more special than some of the pieces that are inside of this calendar. And I just don't get it. Why not put at least one special item in the calendar that costs $825? Maybe a small SLG like this patent leather look pouch from YSL that I got free. And something like this from Chanel would enhance the value of this calendar so much and would give the Chanel lovers and collectors actually something. A little special piece that was not available at retail and cannot be bought, but is not just freebie trash. I hope, I seriously hope nobody splurged on that calendar without checking beforehand what's inside. Because it would just be the biggest disappointment and I know from myself that I try not to spoil myself with what's inside of my advent calendars because I want to have a little daily surprise but of course I wouldn't spend that amount without checking beforehand what's inside. I hope no husband bought this calendar as a well-meant gift and surprise and I hope that all the greedy people out there that bought this calendar because it's so limited to sell it on for a profit will be stuck with their $825 calendar full of freebie trash. And last but not least, I hope you don't mind that I went on that huge rant here. Normally I'm quite nice and positive person, at least sometimes. Thank you so much for watching, hope to see you next time and bye! Mindful Advent Carolyn Chanel Advent Carolyn. Oh, it's so throw true. This is harder than I thought. In the sense of overpriced holiday collections, I think I would recommend you to watch my Dior holiday lipstick set review next, which really is a steal compared to the Chanel advent calendar. And here you can subscribe.